Hi guys, this is Sadek from Dragon.com and in this video, we'll show you how to flash the latest Evolution X ROM based on Android 13 onto Pixel 6a, Pixel 6 and Pixel 6 Pro. Before starting, there are a few points worth keeping in mind. First and foremost, the steps are applicable across all these three phones. Next up, we are installing the official Evolution X ROM and not the non-official ROM. The steps are applicable only across the official ROM that have been shared by the developers. Apart from that, you will have to be on the latest Android 13 stable firmware. So at the time of recording, the latest firmware is of the February build. You can verify from the setting system and then go to the update. And if there is a pending update, install it right away. As of now, it's the February update, the latest one. So I'm on the latest update. Likely you should be on the Android 13. If you're on Android 14, then please do a downgrade either via the Android flash tool or via the fastboot command. Moreover, you should be on the Android 13 stable build and not the QPR or beta build. So once you are on Android 13 stable build, the latest version, then you could proceed ahead. First and foremost, take a backup of all the data because the process will wipe off all the data from your phone. So take a backup and then let's move ahead. First off, you will have to install the Android SDK platform tools. This is the official ADB binary given by Google and is required to execute ADB commands. So download it from the link given in the description and then extract it onto your PC. In my case, I have done the extraction in E drive. You could extract them anywhere you want. Once that is done, you will have to enable USB debugging and OEM unlocking. USB debugging is required to execute ADB commands, whereas OEM unlocking is required to unlock the booter on your phone. So let's now carry out both these tasks. For that, go to the settings menu on your phone. From settings, go to about phone and tap on build number seven times. This will enable developer option. Now go to system, developer option and enable the toggle next to OEM unlocking as well as USB debugging. In my case, OEM unlocking is grayed out because I already unlocked the bootloader. That's the reason why. So enable the toggle next to USB debugging and OEM unlocking. Once that is done, let's now verify the ADB debugging connection. So go to the platform tools folder address bar, type in CMD and hit enter. This will launch the command form directory inside the platform tools folder as you could see. Now type in ADB devices and hit enter. Make sure you are getting a serial ID. If you are not getting a serial ID, then unplug and replug your phone from the PC. Likewise, disable and re-enable USB debugging or tap on revoke USB debug authorization. Likewise, use the official USB cable that came with your phone and use the USB 2.0 port on your PC. So carry out these USB tweaks and make sure you are getting a serial ID. Once you are getting a serial ID, you are good to go ahead. So you will now have to boot your phone to the fastboot mode and unlock the bootloader. For booting to fastboot mode, you have to execute ADB reboot bootloader. Type in this command and hit enter and your phone should now boot to the fastboot mode. The process should only take a few seconds. So let's wait while that is happening. And our phone is now about to boot to the fastboot mode. So first and foremost, let's now verify the fastboot connection. So type in fastboot devices and hit enter. Make sure you're getting a serial ID. If you're not getting a serial ID, then it means you haven't installed the fastboot drivers. So go to my link guide, the guide is in the description and I've written a guide as well as a video on how to install fastboot drivers. So refer to this guide and install the fastboot drivers. And once you have installed these drivers, you could verify from two methods. First one is the serial ID next to fastboot. This is the way of verifying. Or you could right click on the windows icon and select device manager from device manager expand the android phone section and make sure your phone is being shown as android bootloader interface so let me show you this is the android bootloader interface so if you're getting this as well as the serial id this signifies that your phone is now in fastboot mode and your pc is able to identify your phone in fastboot mode so now you'll have to unlock the bootloader do keep in mind that this will wipe off all the data from your phone and might nullify the warranty as well so if that's well and good type in fastboot flashing unlock and hit enter you will now get a prompt on your phone so use the volume key to highlight unlock the bootloader and hit the power key to confirm your phone will undergo a reset and the bootloader will be unlocked once it is unlocked it should either boot to the fastboot mode once again or it might boot to the os if it boot to the os then you have to again enable usb debugging and type in adb reboot bootloader this will boot your phone to the fastboot mode once you are in the fastboot mode make sure it's showing the device as unlocked as you could see in my case this signifies that the bootloader has been unlocked and we are now good to go ahead so next up you will now have to download the rom as well as the recovery file the i have given the link in my guide and these are the link for the official evolution x rom so download the one which correspond to your device likewise evolution x recovery you have to also download it it should be named as vendor boot or img yes the name of the recovery will be in the vendor boot format so download the recovery as well corresponding to device there is no need to download g apps because the rom comes inbuilt with g apps so once you have downloaded both the rom and recovery Transfer them to the platform tools folder. As you could see, this is the ROM file and this is the recovery file, vendor boot file. Similarly, let's rename the file to something shorter so that it becomes easier to type in the CMD window. So let's just rename it to evolution. 
so the complete names becomes evolution dot zip this is our rom and in case of recovery make sure its name as blender root dot img once you have done the rename and transfer this file to the platform boot folder let's now move over to our next step so next up we will now have to boot up onto fast boot mode which we have done already and now we have to flash the recovery file so for that you just need to copy paste this command fast boot flash blender boot blender boot dot img so copy it and make sure the blender boot file is there in the platform boot folder and like as you have renamed it to vendor boot once you have done this task simply open cmd inside platform tools and just copy paste this command and hit enter it will now flash the vendor boot file and the process should only take a few seconds once that is done you will now have to boot your phone to this recovery for that you could either use the volume key to bring up the recovery mode option and press the power key to confirm or you could also use the fast boot reboot recovery command and your phone should now boot to the recovery so the it should only take a few seconds for the first time to boot. So let's wait and our phone should now boot to the recovery mode. Then you will flash recovery. The first time it might take up a few additional seconds. That's completely normal. And as you could see, we are now in the recovery mode. So from recovery, we'll now have to format the data of, on your phone. This will remove the encryption as well as all the data from your phone. So let's now format the data for that. Select factory reset. Then type on format data factory reset. And again, type on format data. This will remove all the data from your phone and once done you should get a message data wipe complete at the bottom left. Once that is done go back and come to the main menu. From there select apply update then select apply from ADB. Now let's verify the ADB cycle connection so for that launch CMD inside platform tools and type in ADB devices. Make sure you are getting the sideload command. Once you are getting this then your phone is in the sideload mode and we could now flash the ROM. For flashing the ROM we just need to sideload the file as well so for that type in ADB sideload followed by the name of the ROM file. In our case, we have named the ROM file as you could see as evolution. So type in ADB side load evolution and then the zip extension. So type in this, hit enter and the side load process will now begin. So guys, once the process reaches 47% in the CMD window, it will get stuck at this percent and it will not move ahead. This is not an issue, but this is how the ADB side load work. On your device, you could keep a track of the status by having a look at the bottom left. It is showing step one of two. And this is the step which takes the maximum amount of time. The step two of two only takes a few seconds. So let's wait while the it's being flashed. And in the CMD window, it will not move forward after 47%. It's completely normal. Moreover, if you talk about ADB side load, in most of the cases, you should get that total transfer message. But in some cases, apart from that, you might also get one of these four messages, such as the ADB fail to read command, no error, success, or 47% ADB or ADB fail to read command undefined error. All these four messages also signify that the process has been completed successfully and it's not a cause of concern. So in most cases you will get this message, but in some cases you might also get the following four error messages. These are not a cause of concern and all these five signify that the process has been completed successfully. So you should not fret and it's simply normal. Likewise, as I have told you before, the process will be stuck at 47% itself in the CMD window, that is also completely normal and, and nothing to worry about. Moreover, if in some cases, when you start the sideload process, your phone might get stuck at verifying update package. That happens in rare cases, and that is really happens if you're not using the official USB cable or if you're using the USB 3.0 port. So if your phone is stuck on the verifying update package and it's not moving ahead even after 30 to 45 minutes, then you could simply unplug your phone from the PC and then replug it back again. It will not cause any issues because it was just verifying the package and it was not flashing the firmware. So if it's stuck at verifying update package, then you could easily unplug your phone and replug it. But still, I would suggest you to give it some time around 30 to 45 minutes. And if it's there at 47%, then you should not unplug it because it's completely normal and this is how the side load works. So apart from 47%, if it's stuck at any other percent and it's not moving ahead even after 30 to 45 minutes, and you have not got step one of two on your phone then there could be some issues with the connection and then you could unplug and replug your phone anyways on my device as you could see we are now on step two of two and we have now got installed complete with status zero so with this the flashing is complete on and on our pc as well we are getting total transfer one and two so this signifies that the adb side load is now complete now if you want to side load any other app or any other zip file module then go to fact then go to advanced and select reboot to recovery. Once you are into recovery, you could then ADB sideload the 
mod or any magic file what you want however if you do not want to flash any other file then you could simply tap on reboot system now so just to re recall if you want to flash any other mod as well then go to advanced select reboot to recovery your phone will not reboot to this recovery mode then select apply update apply from adb and then you could execute the adb side road command to flash the file once that is done you could then reboot your phone to the os by simply tapping on reboot system now in our case we don't want to flash any other file so we will now simply reboot to the system so tap on reboot system now and our phone should not boot to the os so do keep in mind that the first boot up might take up a few additional seconds this is completely normal because we have installed a new new firmware likewise our device has undergone a reset moreover it will also since the rom comes inbuilt with the g apps so it will also be loading all the google app packages and frameworks so all this equals it creates to a longer boot up time but that boot up time will be for the first time only and as you could see this is the evolution x boot animation so you, you the first time around your phone might get stuck at this for a longer time frame it's completely normal and nothing to worry about so let's wait while that is booting up and it should only take around one minute at the very max and as you might be aware the rom comes inbuilt with gs packages so you don't have any say on that if you do not want gf then you could opt for alternate rom such as a lineage os rom that does not come with gfs but this rom has the google app packages built in and so the first boot up might take up a few additional seconds from the subsequent boot up it will not take that long so it's nothing to worry about and the first boot up of every rom that comes built in with google app packages takes a few time so as of now we are now booted to the os as you could see and this is the evolution x rom so let's now get started with the process and let's set up offline as of now and i'll skipping all these process i'll simply take you to the home screen and show you the rom so let's skip this as of now as well so the phone is being ready and as you could see we are now booted to the os and this is the evolution x rom and let me show you the some of the screens this is the notification quick setting toggle and this is the settings menu from here you could go to the evolver section and you could customize your rom accordingly there are quite a few lot of our options as you could see from here and this is something reminiscent of the earlier recession remix rom that we used to have as you could see there are quite a lot of customizations options within in this rom and as of now this is one of the most customizable rom out there for our pixel phone so these are all the options that you could check and apart from that let me show you the rom status as well so currently if i go to system and this is the system update you could download the subsequent ota updates from here is as well or you could use the ota via the adb side load also you could update your firmware currently i have not connected to wi-fi that's why it's not able to check for the update that's not an issue but we are on under 13 and my phone is as you could see pixel 6a so guys on that note we round off this video if you have any queries do let me know in the comment section and please like this video and subscribe to the channel for more tips and tricks thanks a lot for watching